much time at the movies, you know Leo the Lion, the MGM trademark. But I'll bet you didn't know that Leo the Lion is buried in an unmarked grave in Gillette, New Jersey. And so it is that Steve Hartman has found that even in death, Leo the Lion is part of our life around here. If you were to contact MGM, they would probably say we have no idea where Leo's buried. Not anymore. What had been a little-known secret for more than half a century became public knowledge this morning. Yes, here lies Leo the Lion, the MGM Lion, here on the site of the old Pfeiffer Animal Farm. Baldy Pfeiffer was one of the greatest animal trainers of his time. Look at the people who'd come to see him and Leo as they tour the country. Baldy died 20 years ago, but his love for Leo is legendary. That animal meant an awful lot. It's like you with your own nose. It's very important to you to look at it and wipe it and clean it. And that's the same way it's one for that to buy and clean it. Well, that's a very interesting analogy. It is. That's stuff that you've never heard before. No. <laughs> The point is, Volney loved Leo so much, he had him brought back here to New Jersey and buried him in his front lawn. They planted a little tree next to the grave that day. It's been a long, long time. Fifty-six years Leo has rested here beneath the pine in the unmarked grave. Now there's talk of bulldozers and development, and local historians are a little worried that all this will be forgotten. Most people driving by here are not going to remember Pfeiffer's Animal Farm or Volney Pfeiffer or Leo the Lion because there really is nothing here. What these people want is some kind of permanent memorial. They're worried all the stories of Leo and the Animal Farm will pass when all the old timers pass. They certainly stage quite a demonstration today to prove their point, and although their movement is beginning with a whimper, they promise it'll end with a... Steve Hart. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And so Leo the Lion, always a star. Which leads us to the...